What a typical case of a kid who gets no sleep and a kid who sleeps all night long. It's really typical in school to see kids not working because they're drowsy or they're sleepy and or they feel unmotivated. And there's other cases where kids are always doing their work in class and they're always on time and they're really punctual. This is, this is, that's because one kid doesn't get enough sleep and the other one gets sleeps all night long. Alright guys, time for lunch. You're free to go. So what's your name? Oh, Ethan. I see you in class. I see that you're active, you're getting work done, very efficient. How do you, how do, you do that? Well, I had nine hours of sleep last night. I feel like it helped with my concentration. I do have a tip, it's to keep your phone like about three or six feet away from your bed. And that doesn't really come to the check out. So you do that every night? That's how you're so awake? So when you wake up in the morning, do you feel like refreshed or do you still feel tired? I'd, I'd say refreshed. Okay. What I'm seeing here... <laughs> How many hours of sleep did you get? You look really tired. One, two, three, one to two hours? Minutes? Sleep affects us all in different ways. Sleep is important because if you don't get enough of it, you will end up like Eric. Drowsy, sleepy, unmotivated. But if you get enough sleep like Ethan, you'll end up being really energetic and you'll have a lot of energy to go out and do things.